Hi, this is Chris from AMD. I'm coming to you live from Mobile World Congress 2013. I'm here at the AMD booth and I'm the product marketing manager for AMD's ultra low power line. What we're here showing off this year is Tamash. It's an early look at our next generation APU, specifically for hybrids and tablets. We're showing four different designs here. The first one we're gonna be looking at is a design by Compal. This is a hybrid system where you get a full 13.3 inch tablet along with a base docking station. Now the idea here is AMD is really looking to reset user expectations of what you can do with a tablet and a hybrid. Because you may have seen a tablet being an e-reader or watching a movie or playing back an MP3, but have you seen it do all three things all at the same time? AMD is gonna unlock true multitasking with the performance of our quad-core Tomash APU. Here we're looking at a dual-core design. This dual-core design is actually showing off how you can work and play all at the same time. So we're showing the tablet actually doing uh, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, but also outputting a 1080p display. So you can imagine working at your desk while watching a video, all being powered by the same tablet. This is the power that comes with AMD's dual-core Tomash. Now around the corner we have two other designs. All four of these designs are reference designs, meaning that we've partnered with our ODMs to come up with samples for the show. We'll then use these samples to show manufacturers and you can expect to see some of these designs coming to market as early as middle of this year. What we're demonstrating here is another quad core design. Now obviously the uh, the crown jewel of the Radeon, or excuse me, of the AMD APU is the Radeon graphics. And what we're showing here is a, uh, a favorite game of mine. It's called Torchlight 2. Normally, this is a game that you might see being played on a desktop or a notebook. But what we're actually showing it here doing is being played full 1080p with all the settings turned up high. So you're getting great resolutions, you're getting great detail and you're getting great frame rates. All of this is being enabled by the Radeon graphics inside of the AMD APU. This particular design is a very slim tablet that can fold up and you can take on the go, and you can pop it up with a full keyboard and a trackpad. Now lastly, this is our uh, second quad core, excuse me, dual core design. At 10 millimeters thick, this is featherweight, thin, super light, easily able to take with you on the go with great battery life. We're seeing the AMD Tomash products deliver anywhere up to six hours of HD video playback and then up to eight and a half to nine hours of web browsing. So really using it all day and charging that night. Lastly, what we're gonna demonstrate here for you is AMD's TurboDock technology. Now the idea behind TurboDock is that for devices like hybrids where they can be both a tablet and a clamshell, when it looks like a clamshell, you're gonna want notebook class performance. And so what we're able to do is actually achieve better performance than the normal operating spec by including a fan inside of this base unit. So when the system docks, the fan then blows air up through the tablet and provides us the ability to actually overclock both the CPU and GPU. Now we're demonstrating this through a, uh, a quick and easy test. This is a Microsoft Fishbowl program, which actually is an HTML5 graphics benchmark. And we've set the benchmark to auto. So what that means is it's gonna fill the fishbowl with as many fish as it can render while still holding 60 frames per second. You can see in a dock state, we're uh, roughly between 115 and 120 fish. And through software, we can simulate what would happen if you were to actually undock the system and become just a tablet. You can see the number of fish start to ramp down as we try to get back to 60 frames per second. So what's happening is in tablet mode, we're operating at the normal specs of the APU, and then when we dock it in, again with a quick push of a button, we can simulate what would happen the performance starts to go back up, and you actually get notebook class performance all being delivered through the mobility of a tablet as well.